Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You are listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are on the Highway 2000. Continue to sit back, continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me. In the news today, in this first incident, we are learning that the owner of a store on Lawrence Plaza in White House in the parish of Westmoreland. She securely locked up the store about minutes after 5 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. February 24. When she returned yesterday morning, about minutes after 9 o'clock to reopen the store, she realized that it was broken into. Hoodlums they gained entry by forcing open a slide window. When she made checks, she discovered that the hoodlums they stole over 40 pounds and other items valued at over 300,000 Jamaican dollars. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. Just like that. In this next story, detectives at the Hanover Sissoka office, they have arrested and charged a guy. His name is Ricardo Tiet, but he's popularly known as Russian. Russian is 31 years old and he's living at Q District in the parish of Hanover. The allegations are that a female, she was once living at Russian's house with her mother and from the young girl was 11 years old Russian he has been holding her down and taking it away from her as a result a report was made to the police who commenced investigations Russian he was picked up by the police he was charged for the offense of rape and he'll be going to the courts shortly in this next incident, we are learning that Monday night, February 26, about 9.30. A guy, his name is Shannon Plorait, but he's popularly known as Omar. He is 38 years old and he's living at Lilliput in the parish of St. James. We are told that Omar, he was among a group of party supporters in Lucy in the parish of Hanover. The party supporters... They were celebrating the victory of their candidate when it is said that Omar, he pulled a gun and started waving it at the party supporters in a threatening manner. We are told that someone grabbed the gun from Omar and the party supporters, they beat him. There are photographs being circulated with Omar on the ground which I cannot share on YouTube. Omar, he received serious injuries and he was rushed to the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy where he was treated and admitted in a serious condition. Well, our information is that the gun, it was found yesterday afternoon, Tuesday, February 27, about some minutes to 1 o'clock. It was found in a bag at Q District in the Lucy area of Hanover. More information will be coming on that soon. Stand by for that. This next incident, it took place early this morning. Wednesday, February 28th, about some minutes after 1 o'clock. It took place along the Petersfield Main Road. In His name is Dwight Gale. He was 34 years old and he was living at Piper's Corner in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that Dwight, he was riding a black and blue CG250 motorcycle along the Petersfield main road when he somehow ended up losing control of the bike. As a result, the bike, it ended up colliding into a wall. Dwight, he was thrown from the bike and he landed on the asphalted main road. As a result, Dwight, he received serious head and bodily injuries. He ended up dying on the spot sad indeed now <laughs> i have an update for you on friday february 16 that female on your screen her name is tamara 
Heinz, I had said Tiamaya, but I'm now finding out that it's Timara. On Friday, February 16, Timara, she made a post on her social media page. It's on your screen. I'm going to be reading it. She said, You ever try to live your life and avoid people and arguments? Then trouble follow you? According to my landlord, his ex from nine months ago, the B-I-T-C-H, take off and stole my clothes from off the line, including my panties. This took place at 2 o'clock in the early morning when I was sleeping. Timara continued. Then the woman has stopped me now with all knife. You all know I don't trouble or chat with people, so I'm confused how I get involved. Why is she effing with me? I don't even know her and where she come from. Only know that she has stalked me and where I live, I can't leave even my clothes outdoors. Now all police involved searching for her. I heard she's living at Sun Valley. And she left from way up there from 2 a.m. And come to where I live at 3 a.m. Want to fight me with knife. She take my things off the line like she did before. Timara then asked, Why and why me? She continued, This is not a joke. It's very serious. Please share guys. Once police involved, you must know that this got very serious. All in the dark, the woman outside. Now, Timara, she ended by asking, Why me? Timara, she also posted two photos of the teeth in panty. Female. There she is on your screen. That's Nikisha Collins, but she's popularly known as Keisha. Now, you remember I carried a story on Sunday where Keisha, she went to Tamara's house on Valentine's Day early in the morning and attacked her with a knife. Keisha, she also threatened her that she gonna kill her anytime she see her. So she made that post on Friday, February 16 because Keisha, she went back to the house that CM early Friday morning and thief her panties. On Tuesday morning, February 20, about some minutes after 7 o'clock, Tamara, she was on her way to work. She had just left her home and she was walking along Love Lane towards Orange Street in Montego Bay. Tamara, she was attacked by Keisha. Keisha, she pulled a knife and said to Tamara, Hey girl, me never tell you say, me I go kill you. You think a joke me did a make? Keisha then pushed the knife into the left side of Timara's chest, right towards her heart. Thief draws fight over Dicky, Keisha. She then ran away, making good her escape. We made some checks yesterday, and we are told that Timara, she's not yet out of the hoods. In fact, Timara, she's on life support. We were told that the knife touched her heart and her lungs and she cannot breathe on her own. Look at the screen again. There is thief draws. Fight over Dicky, Keisha. She's wanted by the police. And let's hope that Tamara, she pulled through. Now, in this next story, <laughs> why may I tell you, you know? In this next story, in yesterday's video, I told you about the killing of that guy on your screen. His name is Peter Johnson, but he was popularly known as Jolo or Owen. Jolo was 24 years old. Now, he was shot and killed in what the security forces are describing as a shootout on election day. Monday, February 26, in the Flankers area of St. James. You might have heard it already, but just for context. I'm going to be reminding you about what Jolo's mother said on the scene on Monday after he was killed. Listen to this. I'm a nigga to can't say. 
and then kill my son. All is burning. Put this man in the car, put on 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 the car, the car, put on 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 the you know, we put no ass in the car, we tell us, we need to vote it. 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 So, what? 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 And all it's a cold bloody day now here. They want to shut up the people there. But they don't tell me so put up your hands so. And show them some men have no gun. You're sorry enough on the ground. You say end up on the ground and then still kill me pity. I'm sure I do. It better if you ain't have one gun. It gun when they say when they give, it better if you ain't have one gun for true. And then you're not dead for sitting. More than more than you're dead for nothing. Right the sun dead, right the sun. It better if you have one gun for true. You better have one gun for true, Jello. So, you heard that. <laughs> Jolo's mother and sister, they went live on Instagram. I want you to listen to both of them. You're going to hear them talking about KDF. That's the name of a gang who Jolo was in a conflict with. Look on your screen and listen. As also, read the comments. Here goes. Police kill him, it's not KDF. And who no could not do it, can you soft? Can you that them? Soft soap. You, you, everybody knows so no soft. I all want to and fight to no, bro. I all want to and fight to no. I all want to and fight to no. Uno can not chat off the motor. I'm alone fight to know and I know if you use police. Uno can't, uno can't, uno can't rejoice about what police do. Uno can't rejoice about what police do. Uno not bad. Uno not bad. In fact, by himself, uno gang up and group up and I'm alone and fight to know. I'm alone and fight to know and he's so powerful. He's so powerful of police uno if you use. What do you hear? What do you hear? What do you hear when the video come out? And his brother tell us to stop use police and fight war. Better not try to catch him on yourself. When you stop use police and kill off for him. When you put out the video and they tag tag him and they post post him, he tell you no. He said, better not try to kill him on yourself than use police. So, you heard that? <laughs> you heard that? No. Based on what you just heard from mother and sister, what is your comment? If according to Mother and sister, Jolo alone would take on the whole KDF. Do you have any doubt that Jolo alone would want to take on the JCF and the JDF? <laughs> Drop your comments in the comment section below. In this next incident, this one took place early yesterday morning. Tuesday, February 27, about 1 o'clock. It took place right in front of a bar along Queens Avenue in the Gregory Park area of Portmore in the parish of St. Catherine. We are learning that a 21-year-old racehorse groom is popularly known as Pinker. He was heading home and he was walking along Queens Avenue Road when he was approached by four hoodlums who ordered him to stop. We are told that Pinker, he ran off and the hoodlums... They opened gunfire at him, hitting him to his left upper arm. We are told that Pinka, he managed to run to a relative's house where he became unconscious. He was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be 
notified. In the final story for today, this one took place early this morning. Wednesday, February 28th, about 1 o'clock. It took place at Pixie Dust Bar along the Froome Main Road, right in the vicinity of the Froome Factory Gate in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that a regular Tuesday night event was being held at the bar. Quite a few persons were in attendance. We are told that a few guys from Gully Banks in Savannah Lamar were in attendance. It is well known that some of these guys have been in and out of jail for hoodlum activities. They included that guy on your screen. His name is Andre Malcolm, but he was popularly known as Shitgut. Shitgut is in his 20s. Also, that guy on your screen. His name is Kemar Smith, but he was popularly known as Beanie Bud. Beanie Bud is also in his 20s. If you look on the photos to your left and right, those photos were taken when Beanie Bud was in jail. Also in the vicinity of the bar was that man on your screen. His name is Everal Roe, but he's popularly known as Roe or Broomy. He's called Broomy because for years he could be seen making brooms close to where the bar is located. Broomy, he was born on December 5, 1968, 55 years old. We are told that while persons were there enjoying themselves, a white Toyota Axio motor car drove up and stopped. Two hoodlums jumped out of the Axio with guns in hands. They opened gunfire at the persons in the bar who ran off in different directions. The hoodlums, they then jumped back into the Axio and made good their escape. When the shooting subsided, it was discovered that a total of seven persons, five males and two females were shot. 55-year-old Broomy, who was outside the bar, he received gunshot wounds to his upper body and he died on the spot. Shit got, he received gunshot wounds to his head and his upper body. He died on the floor in the bar. Being a bud, he received gunshot wounds to his upper body. He also died on the floor inside the bar. A 23-year-old female, she received a gunshot wound to her left thigh. A 26-year-old female, she was grazed to her right side. A 27-year-old male, he received gunshot wounds to his right arm and a 48 year old male he received gunshot wounds to his abdomen and his neck the four injured persons they were rushed to hospital where they were treated and admitted we are told that when the police processed this crime scene 31 9 millimeter spent shells were recovered from the scene now <laughs> We are told that cronies of shit guts and being a bud, they are preaching revenge. Ah boy. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin. Come now the land of the gun East and north and south to me tone Country 
million ton man a 